just read what our Lord said. And I've entitled our message, Prepared for the Inevitable. Luke 21, verse 10. Then said he unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, famines, pestilences, fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these, now it says they shall, they didn't say they may, they shall lay hands on you persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. They shall turn to you for testimony. Set it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I'll give you a mouth and wisdom, which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. Ye shall be betrayed both by parents, brethren, Kim folks, friends, some of you shall they call to be put to death. You shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. Shall not a hair of your head perish. In your patience possess ye your soul. When you shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. And then I drop down to verse 33. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Now, if what Dr. Browning had predicted had come to pass, millions would have been affected. Because it was supposed to have been bad. There will be earthquakes. We just read that, didn't we? Our Lord said there's going to come earthquakes in this time. But it so happens that yesterday up in a little community in East Texas where we weren't before, we spent the night in Marshall coming home. And about the same time we were in Marshall, they had an earthquake in Timpson. You know where Timpson is. Any old Timpson, Bo Bo Blair, you remember Tick Fritter's song? Uh, Timpson.
cafeteria room. Well, I had black. That's what it was. Boy, y'all see why I don't need any encyclopedia? <laughs> If perchance that earthquake would have happened, it would have been an awful tragedy. But what people don't realize, there is going to come some bad times, earthquakes and other things that's going to happen. And I think folks ought to prepare. Alvin Brown didn't predict that. Our Lord did. He didn't predict it. He told us ahead of time what was going to happen. Waited if people were driving down the road that they're about to come on a bad accident, and if they do a hand or now, they're going to have that wreck get turned going the other way. We don't know those things, but we do know what the Lord said is going to come to pass. There's not anything we can do to uh, revoke it. But our text. And great earthquake shall be in divers places. They had one uh, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, over in Indonesia. Last account I heard it had killed a bunch of people already. But we don't hear much about what goes on in those third world countries. But he says, Great earthquake shall be in, in uh, divers places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But I put verse 33 in particular because it's the one we need to remember. Uh, heaven and earth shall pass away. But my word shall not pass away. But we can count on it. With a great noise, the elements are going to melt with fervent heat. Now that's say it get worse but remember the thing that our Lord told us that about this persecution that we're going to face before that time will come but Jesus foretold us these things 2,000 years ago we now see the stage being set and I asked myself the question why will people not prepare that which they know must come to pass. It's not a question if it's just a question of when. Amen. And to me that's what uh, literally is disbelief in God. Now, what we live in a day you let's turn on the news and it's almost all you hear is uh, how wicked the people are. The murders and uh, what have you in, in the streets. And the Lord told us it was not like that in Noah's day where men's hearts was only, their thoughts was only evil continually. Yeah. Okay. 
he didn't leave them in the, with the disciples asking the Lord, said, tell us when shall these things be? He didn't leave them in the dark. He said, he gathered them close, we'll come on a second, let's talk about it. He began to tell them. But he did tell us no man knows the hour did the other time. But it, for the Christian, it's not doomsday and victory day. We're going to put off that old flesh. <laughs> Redemption day. Reunion day. The glad day, the song that we sing out of our hymnals. There's a glad day coming, didn't it? And the real test is do, do we rejoice when we see these things unfolding or do we yet wait for those that are lost? But we need a burden for those that are lost. Our Lord had a burden in me. Called him to lay his life down as a lamb on the altar. some things that not maybe so fair. And that's what I want to, uh, us to consider this evening is we know what the Lord said is going to happen. We just don't know the exact time, do we? But I believe that we, uh, the Lord said, when you see this thing begin to come fast, then lift up your head for your redemption brought by. And I believe that we'll earnestly search the heavens and the earth, what's going on then we would all agree that it's a lot closer than a lot of people realize. 